This place is closed. And Hurricane Maria destroyed the boardwalk over there. Well, it looks a little bit clearer today here. Everything is closed. I'm not really into crosses. Look at this. Al mojo. You can see that broken. Pretty clear. You can I grab can, oh, can. another one. Hey you, today we are in the town of Ponce, which is on the south side of Puerto Rico. And I know, I know, I have taken so long to finally come to Ponce, but I'm here. I'm at the first spot, which is called La Guancha, right behind me. You can see the Hector Priar's flag, that he paints a flag in each town. That's it for Ponce. The bad news is it's gonna rain. So I already feel a few drops and this place is closed. So I don't know what I'm gonna show you if it rains, and if this doesn't open soon. So we're gonna try to show you some spots in Ponce. So let's go. Look at that. I haven't seen this in such a long time. This is not the first time I've been here. I have been here many times when I used to live in Puerto Rico back in the 90s and early 2000s. Looks like they have like food in there and the marina this used to be the boardwalk where you know you get all the kioscos right along this side and used to walk the boardwalk over there but now it's closed hurricane maria destroyed the boardwalk over there so this is not accessible but they have little businesses here we can go to the beach probably through here. I have never been to this side. I have never been to the beach side, but we're very close to the water here. It's right there. So we're gonna try to explore this. Okay, so we crossed the street. Let's take through here. I kind of want to see the beach. Even though it's such a gray day, let's try to get something out of this. They're doing some yoga here, I think. I'm guessing this is for wheelchair access to get to the beach. Usually when you see that sign, uh, that's what it means. It says Palagua. See, they have this for the wheelchairs here all the way throughout. That's kind of cool. I can't touch the water. I have sneakers. It's really clear. Yeah, it's clear here, but there's some like seaweed over there and like rocks. Right over there is the little island of Caja de Muerto. I believe you can take the boat to get there somewhere around here. Very interesting, those plants over there. We are a little closer to these plants over here. Those are mangles. So it gets very rocky here, but it's pretty nice here. I've never been to this side, so it's interesting to see for the first time. The sand got darker over here. So I came across the Caribe Hilton right there, which I have stayed there before with my sisters. So I have been to this beach over here. Ah, so I have been here, kind of. We are done here with La Guancha and I feel like this has been a fail because it's closed but we're gonna try we're gonna try to go to other spots so let's go they have a children's park over here and for exercise too so we stopped here because you know Sergio wants to fish right so he's gonna try even though I am hearing thunder now but I did want to show you that where you see this little placita here I think it's a stage this is where the boardwalk ends right here so this is the end of the kiosk and everything that's kind of abandoned and destroyed by the hurricane you can see all the debris 
so it ends here and then they have a fence so this is all fenced out all the way up to the beginning which they spent all this money in these fences that are not so cheap anymore look at Sergio <laughs> living life on the edge garden is it but it's closed everything is closed because i just do everything early here is the japanese garden and that's the abandoned hotel i believe and then here is the famous cross i'm not really into crosses but the view here is amazing <laughs> We're not going in, but I just want to see it. This is beautiful. These are like lines, so you can make the line. Auspiciado por Tom Cool. So this is where you make the line. You go through there. It looks like there's some Halloween theme going on here. You see that? Look at this old house. Wow, right in front of the castle. Hard part is coming back up. It's a hill. <laughs> there are two dogs there. It's scary. They just stand there and look at you. I'm trying to see. had to stop here because look at this it's very close to the cruceta or the cruz how i say look at this how gorgeous that's her hair I have never been here before. This is where the water park was, which is right over here. You can see that broken, the slide. And then there's a little beach here. You know, when you're from Cabo Rojo and grow up in Cabo Rojo, you don't come to the beach in Ponce. So <laughs> that's why I have never been here. I gotta show you what Ponce has and I'm all into showing the beaches so here we are well this is the beach El Tuque right here this one person in the water he said the water is really good it's not warm and it's not cold that's what he said <laughs> he said we should go in but yeah I'm not going in today got the water just to see we got sneakers on can't get too close it actually looks very clear very rocky like a lot of like shells and rocks I think I think shells I'm not sure looks pretty clear the Sun came out now I'm gonna get burned <laughs> Sergio keeps walking over there he's trying to fish and I am just looking at the beach Looking at the water, contemplating what am I going to eat because <laughs> I'm so hungry. We kept walking a little bit and since the sun is out, you can see a little bit better the water. It's pretty nice. I was expecting uh, to be super dark, but no, it's pretty clear, at least here. In La Orilla. There's a lot of seashells here. We are at the end here. 
there's some uh, seaweed here. Over there, there was nothing. Strange. You can see the mountains. Ah, lost it. Oh, now he's motivated. Now he wants it. You can I grab got, oh, another it. one. It's it's probably the same one. No. No? What the heck? It's very delicate. Oh wow. It's silver. Skinny. That is it for El Tuque. This was it. Oh, the sun came out and it's frying me. We stopped here in the middle of the road to go to this restaurant right here. Let's check it out. Sergio got excited. He saw Salados. There they are. Go ahead. Beta pescal. We have the menu here. La Montserrat. There is a lot of seafood in this menu and he doesn't know what to pick because there's too many options. I got oh, a tornado. A tornado? <laughs> Me, my only option is chicken because that's all I eat. Pechuga de pollo. But he has a lot of options because he's a seafood person. Wow, we got some salad and we have bread. And we have the bolitas de pescado. Wow, this is just the appetizer. You eat your fish nuggets. I always say bolita de pescado, these are fish nuggets. Look at that iguana. Huge. Okay, so I have the chicken breasts with some vegetables and arroz mamposteado. What's your plate? It's lobster in Creole sauce. Okay. Al mojo. Al mojo. Y arroz habichuelas. Okay. Let's go. And does it have that much flavor, the chicken? But the texture is good. As I have food in my mouth, <laughs> how's your food? Oh, it's very good. Very well done cook. Um, you can feel the flavor, like very natural, very creole. Yeah. But is it fresh? It's fresh, yes. Yeah, yes. the lobster? Yes, yes. Good. We got tres leches cake. Whoa, that's big. Let's, let's get it. <laughs> mm. It's good and wet. This restaurant is very unique, not only because it's on the water, but it has like a section over here, and then it has a section here without any roof, and then it has the section where we're sitting, and it has an indoor, outdoors, pretty cute. So we ate, overall, I would say the food was okay. It was okay, let's leave it at that, how about you? For me, it's different the style and the plate and super fresh and Creole style, like very good flavor. There you go. Today is actually the next day. We are back at La Guancha. <laughs> I couldn't leave without at least checking out what was closed yesterday. So we're going to go in there. Wow, but look at the clouds over there. Super cloudy. But we're going to try to see what we can see here and the sun came out a little bit good thing we're back and there's some ambiance here too there's people um eating 
things are open. So, way better today. These birds are so cute. <laughs> the way they look at you. Look at the sabanos. There's tons of them in here. Wow. The birds are going crazy. Well, it looks a little bit clearer today here because of the sun. We always see the popo at the beach. I guess this is the police station here. Here they have some businesses and the fountain is right over there. So we're a little, we are a little, shaky, 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 shaky. the weather is just not. Mira las bolas del león. Bro, diablo. I'm at the guancha again because the guancha, the guancha.